Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Tie-Dye and today we're going to do the Peace Heart. So it's a design that I've had lots of questions about and I had told people that I hadn't figured it out yet but recently I was looking through one of my photo albums and found a picture from 2008 with a picture of a Peace Heart on it. So obviously I figured it out so I sat down and did a practice run and looks like you guys are liking that one so I decided to make a video of it. So I'm starting with a tapestry that's been soaked in soda ash, it's been spun out so it's barely damp and then I made myself a giant template here so I'm just going to draw this on here. So I folded the the tapestry in half and then I folded it in quarters so that I could find my center spot right here. That way I could kind of center the piece heart about in the middle there. So we're just going to draw this on and get started. So if you're new to my channel I ask that you consider subscribing. It just makes my channel easier to find on YouTube. Plus, you'll get notifications whenever I put up a new video or start a live video, which I do have a weekly live show that I've been doing. Not sure how long it will last, but so far I'm heading into episode 24 of my weekly show. So, anyway. So, since I already have, I drew my piece lines on here, so I'm just going to make a couple little marks in a different color pen so that I know where to draw my lines at. So I got that line and I got that line and then of course we're going to highlight this corner here just to make sure that we don't forget to dye this. So this here is where I'm going to start my piece line. All the rest of this is another part of the piece sign. And I do recommend highlighting this so that later on when it's all folded up you can find this edge because this edge isn't going to be neatly folded in like normally you would see. Anyway, and then here is my one of the legs of the peace sign. So, and then what I'm going to do is flip this over real quick and draw the same lines on the back side just to make sure that when we're folding it up and getting ready to dye it, I'll know where, because some of these lines aren't going to be quite as obvious. So, just flip it over and I can kind of see my line here, but just to make it easier, I'll just lay my template back on here so I can make sure to draw the same line on the top and the bottom. But you could just as easily, uh, if I could, I can see this line through here, but you could also hold it up to a window if you need to, or if you have a light board. And here's my other line here. I think I went off just a little bit from the from my mark here, made it a little bit lower. So we'll just go with that one. Okay, so there's my peace sign drawn on tapestry. And then we're going to fold this a little bit differently than what I normally fold. Like I say, the this center line here is not one that I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold this line to here and then go down, tie it off, and then I'm going to fold this line up and around. Or I might actually start up here at the peak, up here at the peak, and come down, but it's just going to come down right to there. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this line first here. So 
So it's best just to kind of line things out flat. And like I say, this here is the, one of the legs of the peace sign. That's the first one that I'm going to fold here. And I'm just doing an accordion fold, pleats, and I'm lining this line up right here on the top. So basically I'm just taking this line from down here and folding it straight up and matching it with this line right here. And if it stays nice and straight on the top, then you're going in the right direction. If it starts to veer off to the side, then you're not lining this line straight up with your, your side line here. And then I like to end any of my pleated runs that I go, I like to finish where the last of the pleat is on the downward side here. So this last bit of the line here, this next part of the line right here, I'm going to fold it up and kind of twist it around. So basically this line is down flat, this one here is going up and down, and I'm going to bring this one up around and line it up right there on that line. So it's just a matter of twisting the fabric a little bit. and then you're lined up and I can finish the bottom part of the heart out. I'm going to use kite string to tie mine up. You can use rubber bands or sinew or whatever it is that you like to tie with. But I like kite string and I do have a video on how I use the kite string and the sinew. So you can look that up if you want to. Or I can put a link to that down in the description box. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and leave this attached here. Because I'm going to now fold this other line. So once again, this here was just the bottom half. So I folded the leg and then the bottom part of the heart. So now I'm going to fold from the peak here up and around and bring it down here. And then since this here is still tied, I'm going to be able to just tie that off right there. And that's where it's kind of handy to have this line drawn on the top and the bottom so that when it's lost in the folds here, you can still see where your lines are. So, and I'll show you again that later, but for right now, we're going to fold this other line. And this does kind of get bunched up here, so I'm just kind of lifting some of this up out of the fold so I can finish my pleated run here. And it doesn't fold up nice and neat right to that point there. It, you kind of have to bunch it up and that's why we drew the lines on the top and the bottom. But since I left my string tied here, I can immediately go right into tying that. And you just have to kind of work it around underneath and around. And then bring that back around. I'm just kind of going on both sides of my uh, bottom part of the heart there. But I have, I don't have a straight line drawn right where I folded the piece heart, the top part of the heart. It's kind of crooked there. But since I have it drawn on and I have it drawn top and bottom, I can follow those same lines. And now this part of the, the heart, I'm just trying to kind of flatten that out just a little bit. But this edge here, this here is uh, the part of the peace sign leg there. That's why I highlighted that so I could see it. So it goes this part here and this part here is that straight line all the way down the half of the heart. So the rest of the heart in here, I'm just trying to lay it out so that when I squirt dye in there, all of that area gets coated pretty good. But like I say, this one doesn't just lay nice and flat like most of the tie dyes do kind of gets bunched up. Uh, 
All right, so I'm going to wrap this around a couple more times and then tie this off. So now, like I say, this here is two parts of the heart. And like I say, on the bottom side, we got those same lines drawn on here, and it gets a little bit tricky right there. But I'm going to tie the rest of this up, try to separate these a little bit. And let's see here. So these are the four corners of the tapestry. I'm going to, on the first one I did, I put some infinity symbols in the corners. So I think I'll do that same thing for this. So basically I'm just going to fold right here at this corner, pick up this line here. Basically just trying to fold this in half, the edges right here. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. So and if, you, if you wanted to just scrunch the outer part up, you could do that. I'm just going to add in the infinity. Oh, I think I flopped my heart around too much there. Yeah, I think I need to add a little bit more ties in there just to make that more stable. So we'll come back to the infinity symbol here. I'm just going to add a couple more ties up above my other tie line here just to secure that a little bit. But that wants to kind of buckle on me a bit. And we don't want that. Okay. Now back to the infinity symbol here. It's just a matter of laying things out flat. And I did do another video where I did a bigger infinity symbol, so you could look that one up if you want to, but I'm just going to repeat that. So once again, this here is folded in half here at the corner, and then I'm going to fold it in half, and that's going to put the infinity symbol running pointed towards the corner here. And that's, that's the key thing to remember here. Let me just draw a little bit of a line on here. So this here is running from the corner here down. And let me draw all the way along here. So you can see which side here that I'm folding on. So I'm folding this in half now. And now my infinity symbol is going to be drawn here where these heart this these lines are. That's going to put it going right into the corner. If I drew it this way, then that's going to put it sideways to the corner. So in either way is fine, but if you want it running towards the corner, then you need to fold it along this line here. And I'm just going to freehand this. Usually I, I will make a stencil, but we're just going to freehand this one. The most important part is that you bring that point, the, the end of the infinity symbol, right off of the corner there, and that's going to then put it where the lines are lined up just perfect. So there's one set of my corners, and these ones I'm going to tie with sinew and just tie it nice and tightly in there. So once again I'm making sure that as I tie this up, my sinew is going straight up over that point down here where we folded the, the line up initially. 
you got to line that up just exactly perfect on the line on that point. There's our first one. We're going to do the same thing in the other corner here. And I always tie a, a knot in the end of my sinew here. It just makes it easier later on to be able to grab that knot and pull it because if your hands are wet and slippery because you've been rinsing this, it's hard sometimes to get a hold of that. So leave enough where you can pinch it and then the knot will help get a firm hand on that. And the other thing, if you wanted to tie different things into all four corners, you could separate them and tie them up. I'm just going to put infinity symbols in all four corners. So once again, if I want my infinity symbol to run into this corner here, what I'm going to do is first fold this in half, so I'm taking this edge and laying it on that edge. And then this is the line that I want to fold along. The one that's going right into the corner. And sometimes it takes a little bit of extra working to get everything to lay flat, but that little extra time that you take is going to improve the look of your design. So I spend the extra time flattening things out, making sure I don't have any extra creases in there. And then I'm going to draw my infinity symbol on. Once again, so here's here's the point, and we're going to fold exactly on that point, and then also that's where I lay my sinews right along that point there. Okay, there's my peace sign heart tapestry with infinity symbols in there. What I'm going to do is just scrunch the rest of this up and get it tied up with kite string. So there's how I have it. Like I say, we're going to dye the, the peace sign along these lines and we're going to come out around here and up around here. Do our infinity symbols in the corners and then I'm going to dye all the rest of this a solid color here. So let me get some gloves on we'll start splashing some dye on this. Okay, I'm back to put some dye on this thing. Um, it's been more than just a few minutes. It dawned on me that since I tied these up with uh, sinew, tied them very tight, the two uh, infinities, well actually it's going to be four because they were two levels anyways, 
because I had these tied tightly with sinew, I wanted to let this dry out completely before I add a dye to it. So I left this sit for two or three days. It's dried out, so now we're going to put some dye on it. A lot of times when you try to put dye onto a dry tapestry or t-shirt, uh, the dye wants to roll off rather than just soak in. So what I'm going to do is I have soda ash in a spray bottle and I'm just going to lightly spray this whole thing. And that just helps the dye because basically I'm just wetting the top layer of this fabric. And when the dye touches that top layer then it's going to automatically soak in rather than just roll off. So I just like to give it a good spray all the way around and you don't have to you can try it and sometimes it will work just perfect uh, on dry dry fabric it just now and then it just does something funny so anyways so we're going to I'm going to dye this in my primary colors I'm going to do the heart in pink or fuchsia I'm going to do the rest of the tapestry in turquoise um, I might put some sapphire over top of that later, but I'm going to start out by drying just in the fuchsia in the purple or turquoise, and then where the the two of them touch, I'm going to get purple. So that's going to give me then the peace sign within the heart, and then we're going to uh, put some dye on these edges. This here is the down the middle, so. Let's just go ahead and get started. What I'm going to dye with first, I went ahead and I had marked my heart line. That's what I folded part of it and then the other part. So I folded the heart two separate sections here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my turquoise first. I don't want to take a chance that I lay my fuchsia on here and it creeps over top of my line and I lose where that line is supposed to be. Um, the turquoise is going to spread some, but really what that's going to do is touch with the fuchsia and give me that purple peace sign within the heart. So, enough explaining, let's just get right to it. So, what I'm going to use is turquoise, and I'm using one of these bottles with this fine metal tip on it. I do have a link down in the description box. Uh, I buy these on Amazon, they're four ounce bottles and they've been working really great. This fine tip really helps you to lay down just a little bit of dye at a time. So that's what we're going to do. So I drew this line on the top and then I made sure that I also drew that same line on the bottom there and I can see that just a little bit of that line is kind of poked down inside so I can kind of see that that it needs to well, let's see if we can just draw that in. It's going to come across here and then it's going to meet up right there. So, and then this here was the other line that we folded along. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my turquoise there and just kind of let it spread a little bit. And then I'm going to put my fuchsia on and that will create purple for the peace sign. But if you wanted to, at this point, you could use another color dye. Uh, you could even use like thick black dye and poke it down in there. I would use a cuticle pusher to kind of push it in. But I'm using just regular dye here. And like I say, since the rest of this is going to be in fuchsia, or in turquoise, and this part here is going to be in fuchsia, whatever spreads is just going to be my purple peace sign. So I'm not worried about it spreading too much. Just a little bit of spread is what I want. If it spreads a little bit more, that's fine too. And sometimes I still use my cuticle pusher to just kind of tap that dye a little bit and just get it to soak in a little faster there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to dye the rest of this in fuchsia here, and I'm going to put fuchsia over top of my two 
lines here just to create a little bit of separation. I'm going to have white lines here, but I just want to add just a little bit extra color detail out there to these infinity symbols. But you could certainly just leave them completely like this here and just I would dye just the whole thing with turquoise and that would give me then just the white symbols there. But I just want to kind of tie it in with the heart and the peace sign. So I'm dyeing those in fuchsia and then I'm going to go over top of this with turquoise. So that's going to turn that into purple and there will still be a little bit of fuchsia highlights. I just like a little bit of variety. Okay, so let's go ahead and dye the rest of this. This here is the heart. And like I say, I'm going to dye right up to the line here. And what that's doing then is giving me the purple peace sign in there. Now I just want to soak up a little bit of this excess. I kind of put a, a lot of fuchsia on there. So I'm just kind of soaking a little bit of that up just so it doesn't run around and spread too much. Also just the squeezing of this with the clean dry rag helps spread that fuchsia around a little bit, let it soak in. But also then I'm just taking the excess away because I still want to add a little bit more turquoise to this to define that peace sign. So I can already see the peace sign in there but I'm going to bring this line out just a little bit more and you can even just kind of go in just a little bit to make that line just a little bit thicker with that turquoise dye and that's just going to give me a nice purple peace sign there And then at the end, I'm going to paint these edges. So this here, this edge all the way around this section, and then this edge around this section. Those were the other two parts of the peace sign. Uh, but I don't want to do that now because as I flip this back and forth, I don't want this here to flop over into my other colors whenever I lay it down there. I want to, when I finish up everything, then I'm just going to paint that and then batch it. So right now I'm going to add a little bit more fuchsia here and then I'm going to color the rest of this all with the turquoise. So for this I'm just going to use my larger bottle. Okay, I'm going to leave this sit for probably about 10 minutes or so and just let that dye soak down. I want to start seeing some more color coming through to the bottom here in some of these thicker areas before I flip this over. I'm getting good dye saturation, I think, around here, but the center part of this here, I want better dye saturation before I flip that over. So I'm just going to let this rest for a bit and I'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, this thing has been sitting for about 10, uh, probably 15 minutes now. So, I think I got enough saturation going on the bottom here. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing over and add turquoise to the back side. And then when I flip this background, 
then that's when I'm going to go ahead and dye those edges there. I just wanted to wait until I had finished flipping it around before I did that. So on this back side I'm not going to need as much coverage because most of the dye has come all the way through all of the layers here. So I'm not worried about getting dye too far down inside. Really I just want to coat this bottom side here. And then like I say I'm going to add a little bit of sapphire blue to the main part of the tapestry here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I use a foam brush and just some regular turquoise dye here. And I'm going to just paint a little bit of dye on those edges there. And by painting it on, I can make sure that I don't get too much on there. If you try to squirt it on, you might squirt a big blotch on there and this way I can just paint it on until I can see how far it's spread here and if I need to I can add just a little bit more so I'm just painting it right on the edge here and like I say I can flatten that out and just add a little bit more to straighten that line out because like I say this here is going to be the line down the middle of the peace sign down the middle of the heart so now I'm going to paint these edges the same way all the way around this thing. Just make sure your hands are clean. I think I just put a couple spots of turquoise on there which will then turn purple but it'll be fine. So it's just a little bit messy this way but you can take your time and really be more precise with that. Sometimes I get going a little too fast, but it'll still come out good. You can look at these edges, make sure you have dye where you want it. And I'm just going to put just a little bit more turquoise right on these edges where I folded it at. Just to make sure I have a nice purple line there. Yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. I'm just going to make sure that I don't lay this thing down. I'm going to hold it up. Should have touch this part up just a little bit more before I turn it over. Okay. So there is the peace sign heart with two infinity symbols in the corners there. So now I'm going to let this batch for 48 hours and then I will rinse that out and have it for you here at the end. Thank you. Okay, good morning. Welcome to Hippie Christmas with Mr. Tie-Dye. So this is time to open this peace sign heart up and see what we got here. Alright, so there's the, the peace heart here. So it looks like we got a nice point. You can see the peace sign in there. Let me get these opened up. Alright, looks like we're going to have some nice definition in the infinity symbols. So, let's open this all the way up. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'll get this washed and posted later.